This week on Hashtag Taiwan, the ICAO, the International Civil Aviation Organization. Now, it's one of the UN's many agencies, like the World Health Organization. And with this most recent coronavirus outbreak, many countries are relying on these agencies to coordinate prevention efforts. Now, you're probably asking me, where does Taiwan come in in all of this? And the sad truth is, we don't really. Taiwan is not part of the UN. In fact, the Chinese government says China already represents Taiwan, and it's kind of a sad reality that we deal with. Enter stage left, the ICAO's Twitter account. Now, they got into some arguments on the internet over Taiwan. What happened? Well, I have the story for you right here. Buckle up, you guys. It's going to be a lot of information. <laughs> Try to keep up. Okay. Jessica Drun is a non-resident fellow at an American think tank. On January 22nd, she posted these two tweets supporting Taiwan's participation in these two organizations. Well, a few days later, Jessica revealed that she was actually blocked by the ICAO's Twitter account. Mm. Now, a lot of people saw this as a blatant move on the ICAO's part to kind of censor mentions about Taiwan. And a lot of people, you know, they thought that the ICAO was just trying to censor, censor, censor. But there's a funny thing about the internet, you guys. When you tell it to go left, it makes a hard right. And a lot of people started dogpiling on the ICAO uh, just to see, you know, why does a mention of Taiwan merit Twitter blocks? And people got blocked as well. Here are just five examples. And people started kind of wearing that mm. like a badge of honor. Wow, look at all those wow, people that got blocked. Wow, interesting. This is just wow. a small sampling. There's a lot more. Anyway... In response, the ICAO said, ICAO has not blocked anyone for asking anything about anywhere. Please do not contribute to the spread of this min misinformation. Oh my goodness. But guys, <laughs> the proof is right here. Anyway, when things go down on social media, there's one person in Taiwan I like to turn to, and that's our foreign minister, Joseph Wu. The dude tweets a lot, and he likes to sign his tweets JW, just so you know it's him. So in response to the ICAO, he said this, Supporting hashtag Taiwan's inclusion in the ICAO is communicating misinformation. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, uh. and then the Taiwan issue will just disappear? No. Taiwan will remain an air traffic hub, and the only way to ensure safety is inclusion. And there's that signature, J.W. Joseph Wu. Wow, look at those monkey emojis. That's cute. I uh. I, I, I just well, see him, very like, straightforward. The, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, just like monkey, monkey, yeah. monkey. You know, just, <laughs> it makes me happy. Anyway, uh, this whole slew of drama also caught the attention of U.S. officials like Wisconsin Representative Mike Gallagher, Florida Senator Marco Rubio, and the State Department spokesperson Morgan Ortegas. In fact, this got so bad that the U.S. State Department actually released an official statement condemning the ICAO's actions of blocking Ooh. people on Twitter over mentioning Taiwan. Look at that outrageous. Look at that. Yeah, it's out okay. They blatantly said outrageous. Now, I'm running out of time here, you guys, but there's one last thing I got to show you, and it's really important, and it came in at the last minute while I was writing hashtag Taiwan. Have you guys heard of the hacking hacker group Anonymous? Uh, yes. Okay, so they actually hacked into a UN server and they made a new website supporting Taiwan. <laughs> this is hosted Whoa. on a UN server. You can find this website online. After, I think, four, 38 hours, 40 hours now, this website's still up there. Whoa. Taiwan the top number there one. Is, on top is the anonymous <laughs> logo, so you know it's them. And then Taiwan number one, that's been kind of like a, a tagline for people who are pro-Taiwan. Taiwanese flag, KMT flag, DPP flag. And then they have the Taiwanese uh, national anthem there on the bottom. And wow. at the very bottom is... I don't know, it's one of the songs to the Avengers Endgame. I don't know <laughs> why it's there. Just because. They're a fan. Yeah. But if you are interested in this topic, guys, go on Twitter. There's so much more information that I haven't even touched upon yet. And uh, I got to go find a jacket because this shade that's getting thrown around is making this place chill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's great. Yeah, so... All right. well, thank you so much, Leslie. That was very mm. interesting. And uh, that's it for Hashtag Taiwan this week. Do follow us on social media and leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you.